Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kalei and today's Monday review is going to be on a mascara. Today I'm trying out the Rimmel London Scandalize Rock and Curves Mascara. I have not tried this yet. I've had it for a while and I just want to try it out and let you guys know how I feel about it. The color I have is Extreme Black 003. I love to get black mascaras and the brush is curved. So it kind of has like an I guess maybe like an S wave, I don't know. They call it a broken heart brush. So uh, let's open it and see how this works. So right away, this is a pretty big tube for a mascara. Um, and the packaging has like um, texture of, what do you call it? maybe snake skin, something like that. So that's the texture. It's in a red tube. I'm going to compare the size to my Estee Lauder uh, mascara. So this is what it looks like. It's definitely fatter, uh, but of course my Estee Lauder is a little bit taller. Opening it up right away, I can tell that there is a lot of product at the tip. It is S-curved or broken hearted, however you want to say it. Um, and it's very stiff, so it's not flimsy or anything, so that's very nice. So I'm going to wipe off some of the product if possible. Definitely has a lot of product. When you wipe it off on the tube, it kind of gets really messy. I'm sure a lot of mascaras are like that, but uh, this one just is a giant brush. And I have small eyes and small lashes, so I'm hoping this won't look terrible <laughs> or I won't have a hard time with it. So I'm going to apply it to my lashes, and let's see what happens. So... I'm taking the bottom curved part and just using that to kind of lift the upper lashes. It feels like more of a drier formula, which I really like in mascaras. I don't really like the wet formula. Um, I feel like if it's drier, I can build it up. Definitely is a big brush, so it's really hard to get into the inner corner. So if you have small eyes like I do, um, it's going to be a little tricky to try to not get product on your lid or inner corner, but just take your time. Uh, it's not clumpy or anything, so that's really nice. I'm going to use the back end of the brush and kind of add a little more product to the base. And I'm just wiggling it to kind of make sure that I comb through it. Um, it's not leaving me with super spidery lashes, which I appreciate. I don't really love spidery lashes. I love my lashes to look kind of wispy, like wispy uh, false lashes. So I really do like that effect. That's what it looks like for that one. I'm going to go ahead and do the bottom portion. And again, there's more product that is... Uh, on the tip which I don't like because I'm gonna use the tip to kind of apply this on the lower lash line so I'm crossing my fingers that I don't get this on my skin because that's gonna be really bad okay let's go So it's definitely challenging to get on the lower lash line. As you can see, there's a product that hit my uh, lower lash line, like the skin. I'm going to add a second coat on the upper lashes. Let's see if this is buildable. It does look a little spidery, I'm not going to lie. Um, I wouldn't say that this is buildable because the formula is pretty thick. The first time it went on, it was perfect, but the second time it was just... Not too good. Let me see if I can comb this out here. Oh, that made it worse. <laughs> Volume wise, I don't think it gave me any like lift because uh, it was just really uh, clumpy um, when I applied the second coat. So I don't think that this is like a buildable mascara. It still looks very spidery when I apply a second coat. So no, I wouldn't say this mascara is buildable because uh, it gets clumpy and I don't really like that. Alright, so my thoughts on this mascara is one, that it is not buildable. So um, if you're into mixing your mascaras or 
adding two coats like I usually do with mascara, this is not going to be great for you. It just gets really clumpy and spidery. The second thing is the brush is so huge for my eye shape. If you have bigger eyes, maybe this will work for you, but for me, it did not work. Um, and I was bound to get mascara below my lower lash line. The third thing is there's just so much product that comes out on this brush. It's insane. Like, I literally have to wipe it, and then when I wipe it, more product ends up being on there. So, I don't think the um, part of the tube where it kind of wipes some of the mascara off works really well for this. Um, so, yeah. Some good things I like about it is that it's a very black formula. It does separate the lashes with the first coat. So, if you're a first coat type of girl, this will work for you. Um, and it is inexpensive because it is drugstore, so you're not going to pay tons of money on this. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick review on the Rimmel London Rock and Curves Scandalized Mascara. If you have any questions on anything I mentioned today, please leave it down in the comment box down below. Give this video a like for more first impression video reviews like this one and share it with your Google+. And make sure that you are subscribed to my channel for new videos weekly, five days a week. That's right. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on my next one. Bye!